this week on the Ghanaian farmer, we want to better understand this cages system that are manually built in recent times for people who are interested or aspiring to become fish farmers. My name is Senyo and this is the Ghanaian farmer proudly brought to you by Lizzie or Lee Tomato Mix. Get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube and LinkedIn, the Ghanaian farmer. Standing next to me again is Godfred Yebwa. He's a farm manager at Mackenzie and Sunfish Farm Limited and he's going to throw more lights on cages because he builds the cages as well. Godfrey, thanks for joining me again. Now when we say cages, what are cages? Okay. So cages are basically system where we keep an organism mm. for growth. Okay. okay. So when we talk of uh, fish cages, then we are looking at a system where mm. we can keep, keep fish mm for growth. Okay. Yeah. How many types of cages do we have? Okay. So we have, let me put it, two types. Two types. Yeah. We have one on water mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. and we have uh, cages on land. Okay. okay. So these are the two types. Okay. So the ones on land, yeah. this type is basically made of what? Okay. Or what do you call this type? So on land, mm -hmm. we also have different okay. types. We have this one we call it the canopy okay. or the tarpaulin tanks. Okay. The tarpaulin tanks. Okay. Then we can also have uh, concrete tanks. Okay. Okay. So on land, and the next one is the earthen pond. Okay. But mostly uh, for destruction of maybe somebody's land, uh, most of the time people don't prefer the earthen pond because they that one you are going to dig the land, the land into yeah. the land yeah and you, if you are not able to continue production then that land you can't use it for anything mm. because there is a hole mm -hmm. that get hole mm -hmm. unless you dig you do refill mm. okay but mm. for the tarpaulin tanks mm -hmm. and the concrete tanks mm -hmm. can be done on the surface of the land mm -hmm. so therefore you are not going to destroy the, the land. land yeah oh, okay now which of these tanks are, are suitable or do you recommend that it's easy to do and also the cost is not too high. Okay. So, uh, the tarpaulin tanks is easy to do, uh, cost effective, and manageable mm. as compared to the concrete tanks. Okay. Because the concrete tanks, if you, you are building and you don't build it well, mm -hmm. there will be cracks and with time leakages. So, mm -hmm. anytime you pump water, mm -hmm. it will leak out. Mm -hmm. Anytime you pump water, it will leak out. Mm -hmm. And you should know that pumping water, you are using electricity, mm -hmm. the cost of electricity will go high, the cost of other inputs will go high. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you selling your product will mm -hmm. be equal to the cost of your production, mm -hmm. then you are not going to get anything. Mm -hmm. But with the tarpaulin tanks, mm -hmm. it's easy to handle. Mm -hmm. uh, this system that we are seeing here, mm -hmm. you can dismantle the whole thing mm -hmm. and fix it back again. Okay. okay. As compared to the concrete tanks, you can't dismantle it. Mm -hmm. uh, when do you want to stop the work the only thing is then you need to break everything okay but this one you can dismantle it mm. keep it somewhere mm. in the near future mm. even your children children mm. can come and fall on mm. it and use it again all right now let's look at the materials that are required for each of these tanks you mentioned the three yeah the one that you're going to dig the ground yeah. and then the concrete one and then the tapuli one what materials are involved and how much do i need if i want to build each okay so let's start with the earthen pond. Yes. The one you are going to mm -hmm. do. Uh, you need to, after getting your site, mm -hmm. you need to get excavator. Okay. To come and dig the, the size of the pond that you need. Now, excavator coming to the site, uh, digging the pond and its uh, inlet where you get water into the system mm -hmm. and where you need to drain mm -hmm. the water. Uh, you spend not roughly about 50,000 cities okay. per one construction. Okay. Okay. So that is it. For the concrete system, uh, you need to get your cements, mm -hmm. uh, your blocks, then the masonry works, mm -hmm. uh, iron mm -hmm. sheets and uh, mm -hmm. iron rods mm -hmm. and those things. Mm -hmm. uh, concrete tanks also... Uh, an estimate of... An estimate of about 35,000. Okay, depending also on the size. Depending also on okay. the size. Okay, now we move to the tarpaulin one. Then the tarpaulin tanks. So, let's assume we want to build a concrete tank mm. of a size like this tarpaulin tank mm. that we are seeing mm -hmm. here. 
you uh, you need about thirty five thousand okay cities okay but for this tarpaulin tanks mm. uh, when I was constructing it mm -hmm. that was last year mm. uh, the tanks mm. the, the the tarpaulin cost me about two thousand five hundred cities in doing it mm. okay in doing it mm. then the metal cost me around ten thousand mm. so if you look at it it was I spent almost about fifteen thousand mm. in constructing one of the tarpaulin tanks. And we have about how many of and them? We have three here. Three of them. Yeah. So roughly, we are looking at about uh, forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand for the, three. For the yeah. three. Okay. Now I realize that you have a greenhouse kind of structure yeah. on. I mean, covering the tarpaulin tanks. Why is it like that? Okay. So first, uh, we want to prevent. Direct sun. Direct sunlight. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we try to shade it so that the sun will reduce mm. a little. Because here was meant for uh, the fry, mm -hmm. uh, the baby yes. fish. Okay. The fingerlings. Yeah, the fingerlings. So we didn't want also a high level of sunlight mm. here. Mm. So we try to cover it. Mm. The second thing was about predation. Bears and other things were picking them. Mm. So we try to block those predators, mm. uh, lizard and those mm. things from entering mm. and be picking them. Mm. That's why we have this greenhouse thing here. So okay, so so, so if you have a place where these birds and lizard cannot have access yeah. to it, there's no need for you to construct this. Yeah, there's no need. But for tilapia, mm -hmm. there's no need. Mm -hmm. But for catfish, catfish mm. like a dark environment. Mm. So there should be uh, some shade. Shade. Okay. 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 There should be some shade. Okay. So, but you can use a normal iron sheet mm. instead of this one. Mm. Or if you have this one also, mm. fine. But you mm. can use a normal iron sheet mm. to get some shade mm. for them. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, this tapoli, um pond that you have here, how do you bring in water? And how do you move the water out? Okay. So, we have... Uh, okay. So, basically, mm. fish farm is all about water. Okay. That's why they said aqua water, mm. aqua water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before you set up, you need to get a source of water. Okay. Okay, so we have our pump machine in the river. In the river. Okay, so and we have our uh, inlet. That is where our uh, water gets into the tank. Mm. So when you own the pump machine, mm -hmm. it is an electric machine. So when you own it, the, pump, the water will be drawn into mm -hmm. it then when you want to drain it we have an outlet mm -hmm. we've created a hole where the water can go, go out yeah. okay now how often do you change the water in this pond okay this one every week every week you need to change water okay every week because this is not a natural system unlike the pond mm -hmm. the pond there are bacteria and organisms that break down uh, uh, components which are not good okay for they the fish for the fish okay. they break it down so mm. it's not harmful mm -hmm. to the fish mm -hmm. but for this one mm -hmm. there's no bacteria from the soil mm. you don't have any soil mm. okay so most of the time everything is settled at the bottom so almost every week you need to change the water did you cement the ground no is the, the water touching the ground no okay the, the thing is built in such a way that it's all round okay okay so under two we have the canopy it's still the canopy yeah. down there yeah oh, okay yeah. okay it's, it's built all around right yeah okay why is the water in the pond looking green okay did you add any color no I, as i was saying the feed that we give them contains a lot of protein mm. so the protein produces a lot of algae mm. okay and uh, ammonia and nitrate other components mm. that the the, the, uh, the feed produces mm. So this, the agi, mm. the, the feed, when we give them the agi, which is coming out from the feed, mm. is what is making the water green. Okay. Apart from uh, the fact that this one is easy to uh, disconnect, yeah. that is if you don't want to do the farming again, and also it's a bit less expensive and you do not destroy the ground, why would you go for this pond and not the, the one earthen pond or even the cement one? Okay. Uh, for the earthen pond, mm. uh, the okay, the quantities of fish mm -hmm. that can be stocked in the uh, earthen pond mm -hmm. can be the same quantity that will be stocked here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the concrete tank, mm -hmm. the quantity can be the same thing here. Mm. 
So you, the farmer, you look at the cost analysis and you see that, okay, whatever can be done with the pond mm. can be done here. Mm. And this is cheaper. Mm. So why not fall on this one? Okay. okay? And uh, this, this, this is flexible to handle. Okay. It's, it's very easy to handle. Okay. So that even you, the farmer, you don't mm. need a lot of labor. Mm. Because you are going to also pay for labor. Mm -hmm. So when you have one or two people, mm. they can handle a lot of this mm. as compared to the pond. Okay. Yeah. My name is Anjana. I'm getting interactive on our social media platform of Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram the Ghanaian farmer this week our focus is on you deciding the right type uh, less expensive durable but you know less stressful kind of cage or pond if you are aspiring to go into fish farming and we learned about three the etting pond the con concrete pond and then the tapoli pond and what you see right now on the background is the tapoli pond we are how do I ensure that I take proper care of my tapoli pond so that it will last at least, if not, for a very long time before I think of changing the whole setup again? Okay. Let's look at maintenance uh, culture. Okay. Mm. So first of all, uh, when you have it, mm -hmm. you need to secure the environment where you are going to fix it. Okay. Uh, securing means maybe you need to get a, a barricade mm -hmm. or something to to protect it mm -hmm. so that uh, not you per se mm -hmm. but maybe some children or some people from outside mm -hmm. that intruders mm -hmm. doesn't get access there mm -hmm. because this is a soft material yes. so any play by children or anything with a knife can they destroy can it. it so that should be the first thing you need to secure the environment this. okay now at every harvest mm -hmm. or when you have fish in it and you are harvesting at every harvest you need to clean it nicely so you can have a, a, a pressure washer. The one Do I use soap and water? No, just normal water. So okay. you, you, you can get this, uh, or you can even take it to where they wash car. Okay. Okay. Then they wash it nicely for you. You come and fix it again. Uh, I think when you do the cleaning of it and you preventing people to come, you will be able to maintain it for a longer period mm. of time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's happily we have colors. Okay. Now, this, the one we have now is the blue color. Yeah. But you also mentioned that catfish like a bit of a darkened, yeah. uh, you know, area or kind of environment. Why didn't you go for black and you went for the blue? Okay. Now, naturally, black absorbs heat. Mm. Okay. So, when you have a black system, the meaning you are going to introduce, get more heat into your system. Okay. Okay. Which wouldn't also be good for the fish. Okay. So, you need to get... A, a, a color that uh, reflect heat okay so any color apart from black is able to uh, prevent heat from entering mm. so blue white pink or any other color mm. is preferable but mm. black mm. absorb heat mm. and uh, mostly during the day there will be absorption of heat mm. in the night mm. the water will become very warm mm. which might not be and in the night you are asleep you mm -hmm. might not know what is happening. Mm -hmm. By the day, the, 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 the time day breaks, mm -hmm. you might get mortality. Mm -hmm. That's why we went for the, the blue, blue color. Yeah. All right. I also see you have some net around it. Okay. What is the net also doing here? Okay. So the net, sometimes when we bring the fish, mm -hmm. okay, uh, when you are starting, mm -hmm. let's say you have fingerlings. Mm -hmm. Now, when you bring the fingerlings and you grow them, mm -hmm. before you put them in the main net mm -hmm. for production. Mm. You need to keep them in the net and look at their condition. Okay? Uh, for instance, let me come in here. Mm. Now, when you come and buy fingerlings from uh, Mackenzie uh, and Sound Fish mm. Farm Limited, mm. okay? and you take it to your farm, mm -hmm. ideally, mm. you need to isolate your fish for a certain number of days and see whether... How many days? For about one week, okay. seven days, okay. to see whether you didn't transfer any disease from Mackenzie and, uh, uh, Mackenzie and Sunfish Farm to your farm mm. before you introduce it into, into your, your main pond. pond. Okay. Otherwise, when you introduce it direct mm. and there was a disease, meaning you are introducing it will that infect. disease into your system, okay. and it will be difficult to cure. Okay. Okay. So most of the time, when 
you bring your finger lens first. Mm. You need to keep them in this net. Okay. And study their behavior mm. for a certain number of time. Okay. Now, when they are having any disease or anything on mm. them, you mm. getting them from the net will be easier than you collecting them from the main system. Mm. Because mm. for this one, immediately mm -hmm. you lift the net, mm -hmm. you'll be able to catch all of them. Mm. Okay, so that if there's any disease, you'll be able to treat them before you introduce them. All right, go for it. Wait. You mean that if I have this tapoli yeah, pond, yeah. I should have this net inside the tapoli yeah. pond, right? Yeah. So when I bring the fish from Mackenzie and Sons Fish Farm Limited, yeah. I should first of all pour the fish in yeah. this yeah. for one week. Yeah. After which, if there is no infection, yeah. I can now pour the fish from the net into the pond yeah. and then I'll bring the, the net outside. Then you bring the net outside. Okay. 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 Bring the, but if there is any infection, mm -hmm. it is easy for you to get the fish mm -hmm. and do your treatment okay. before you send them into your the main pond the, the main pond oh, okay yeah okay i know that when it comes to livestock there are certain kind of animals that you cannot rear in in open spaces or in a, a crowded environment like pig yeah. poultry so which environment do you suggest that i can you know put up my pond and then start rearing my catfish or tilapia so for tilapia mm. or catfish production, mm -hmm. every environment is suitable, mm -hmm. provided there is availability of water. Mm. So if you have water in your environment mm -hmm. at any point in time, mm -hmm. you can rear your catfish or your tilapia. Mm. Okay. In case I want to do this in my home, I have a very small space yeah. and I want to, you to build a pond for me, the tapoli type. Yeah. How much, what's the minimum amount that I can use to... So, minimum, how many do you want to build? Oh, just one. A very one. small one, yes. A for myself, me, me, me and my family. This one is even too big for me. Maybe half of this. But this one, then it can't take any fish. <laughs> yeah, but I said yeah. it is for my personal consumption. Yeah. So, half of this. Okay. So, you need to get maybe 5,000 cities. For half of this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 5,000 cities. Well, should uh, be enough for me. Yeah, it should be enough for you. Okay. But you see, mm -hmm. uh, on the ground where you are going to fix it, mm -hmm. you, it's not just, you need to dress the place. If you can see here, mm -hmm. there's a concrete. Yes. Okay. So you need to at least get the place, the down, mm -hmm. very in a nice condition mm -hmm. before the other you things build come. The, yeah, the pond on, on it. it. Okay. Yeah. Do Am I permitted to uh, join catfish and tilapia in one pond? Yes, you are permitted. Provided the tilapia will be a little bigger than the catfish when you were putting them in the system. Now, when the catfish is bigger than the tilapia, they will consume the tilapia. Eh? The catfish are carnivorous. The catfish will eat my tilapia? Yeah. Why? Because they are carnivorous. They, they feed on animals. Catfish feed on animals. Okay? So, you can join them. That is what we call polyculture. Putting two or more uh, organisms in the same environment. You can do it by making sure that the tilapia or whatever organism you are going to pair with the catfish. It's bigger than the catfish. Yeah. All right. Um, how much do you charge for building one cage? You let me use this small size because this one is what I can tackle. This small size. If I should consult your services to build this tapoli pond for me, how much okay. are we so, expecting? Yeah, without the metal frame, mm. okay, the, the material alone mm -hmm. will cost you about... 1500 your services so i'm asking for your services you've told me how much one okay. cost which is fifteen thousand. okay so my service yes okay. if i contract you okay. that girlfriend i want to start fish farming in my backyard okay. so come and build this size what do you call this size is how much okay what so, the size is it uh, what the so size? this is a, 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 a six by ten feet six by ten feet yeah so i said i want a six by ten tapoli pond Okay. How much are you charging for your services? For my services? Yes. Okay. Then it will also depend on the distance I'm coming. Okay. Okay. So let's say Accra. Mm. Okay. So I consider my transportation and mm -hmm. route mm -hmm. and the service I'm going to. So mm. maybe uh, I can charge you about maybe 600, 700 cities. Okay. Do you buy the materials or I have to provide the materials? You provide the materials. I'll provide the materials. Yeah. So your, char your service fee is different from... From the, material. the materials yeah. okay but if you want me to also get the material mm -hmm. do everything and come and face it for mm -hmm. you 
that one too is there. It's also available. Yeah, it's also okay. available. Okay. Um, another question I want to find out is that with this system of cage, as compared to, let's say, the stream, what are some of the advantages and disadvantages? Let me consider the two and then decide on which one is more suitable for me. What are some of the advantages if I should do my, uh, you know, fish farm in the stream as against me doing it in the tap okay. So, the basic one is that you are doing it on in the unnatural environment. Mm. There's no pumping of water. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. So, mm -hmm. you, you don't get your mm -hmm. electricity mm -hmm. or bill mm -hmm. for it. For this one, mm -hmm. you need to buy water. Okay. That is electricity you need right. to be pumping. Okay. Okay. So, that one is the, the basic difference between you mm. doing it on mm. land and that place. Mm. But with this one, mm -hmm. as we were discussing earlier, mm. you have control mm -hmm. over your system. Mm. Each day and day out, you come and stand, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see. It's like poultry farm mm -hmm. when you enter, mm -hmm. you will see all your birds mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. But with that one, mm -hmm. unless you dive into mm -hmm. the water, mm -hmm. You can't see the fishes. Okay. So whatever is happening to them, you have no move, idea. Yeah, you, do, you have ah. no idea. But this one, it is easy. Okay. Even I can tell this guy, they can come and raise this net. You will see all the fish. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. you have access. Right. Yeah, accessibility okay. on the land mm. than on mm. the river. Okay. So there's accessibility yeah. here. You know, inside the Tapoli Pond, as compared to the mainstream river fish farming. My name is Anyinam, and this is. The Ghanaian farmer focus today is on cages, you know, the basic cages that you can construct to do your catfish or your tilapia farming. I'm going for a quick breather. And so when we come back, we'll wrap up it all on the cages or the, var the various types of cages that we have used in fish farming. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. This is still the Ghanaian farmer. And our focus this week is to introduce to you the types of cages or pond that we have you can use in your fish farming or either catfish or tilapia. So quickly, before we wrap up, I have realized that there are some baskets or I don't know what you call it, okay, around crate, around the farm. Can you get me one, please? Just pull one for me. Um, what are they also used for? How is it... Um, what is it used for? Okay, so this is what we use during fish sales. Okay. okay. So this is where we pack our fishes in various sizes mm -hmm. into. Mm -hmm. And this is what we use to weigh the fish mm -hmm. for the market women, mm -hmm. which we call them the aggregators, mm -hmm. when they come to your farm mm -hmm. to come and buy. Mm -hmm. So this is the system that we put the fish in. Okay, so let's say a catfish okay. harvested from your pond, okay. filling up this. Okay. How much is it going for? Okay, uh, it will depend on the, the weight. Mm -hmm. If it is filled, mm -hmm. it depends on the weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, a catfish may be filled and weighing, uh, let's say, if it is filled and it's weighed about 50 kilos mm -hmm. with this one full, uh, if you are to sell a kilo of the catfish, mm -hmm. let's say 20 cities mm -hmm. per kilo, of, mm -hmm. then 50 kilos will be about 1,000 Ghana. Okay. okay. Okay, so a kilo, uh, a full of this uh -huh. 50 kilo. It's Over thousand, thousand Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Now this cage business. Okay. How often do you get orders from people? Oh, Godfrey, I need you to build this cage for me. How how is that business like? Okay. Uh, it is a new system. Okay. That is now coming up. Hmm. Uh, people are not doing it much because they don't have knowledge hmm. about it. Hmm. Okay. So it is not that people have started uh, getting knowledge about using this system mm -hmm. a lot of times mm -hmm. uh, they were using the earthen pond mm -hmm. but people have got to realize that okay using this system mm -hmm. prevents you from destroying mm -hmm. your land and other mm -hmm. things so for some two weeks now i've been getting some calls All this. from people okay yeah and i'm hoping maybe it continues right yeah. okay now when we, when we're at the earthen pond yeah. you mentioned that some of the are uh, adva disadvantages yeah. are um, there are some crocodiles, snakes, yeah. and some few things that might once in a while pop up their head. That might worry the fish. Yeah. Or there are some infections that might, yeah. okay. you know, come up in, over here. If I have my catfish here or my tilapia in this type of pond and I'm wearing it to sell, what kind of infections are likely to spring up? 
Okay, here infection is, let me say, zero. Okay. Unless the infection is from the water, mm. the main, maybe the, the, the system you are pumping mm. into. Otherwise, as I was saying, this is a very controlled environment. Okay. Uh, even difficult for a frog to jump into it, mm. uh, difficult for a snake to climb, mm. difficult for, if you are able to secure it, then you don't long. have any problem. Yeah, you don't have it. Okay. If you want to harvest okay. from the pond, okay. either your catfish or your tilapia, how do you go about Do I enter? Okay. So the only thing is, you open your outlet, uh -huh. allow the water to go, uh -huh. to go ah. so that all the fish will, will just be there. Then, then you, I'll collect you my enter fish. and you collect them. Oh. Or you can lift the, the, the whole thing, mm -hmm. then you scoop your, ah. your fish. Easy crown. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's easy than the earthen pond, okay. easy than the tank system. Right. Yeah. Today too, we are done okay. when it comes to cages or fish ponds. What would be that message that you can share with people who do want, don't want to go into livestock, crops, or even the fish farming, but want to go into cages, building cages for people? Do I need some special training? How do I market my services? What are some of the advantages in this area that I can explore? Okay. So, uh, as I previously was saying, mm. uh, fish farming is a lucrative mm. work. Mm. Uh, you need to be trustworthy mm -hmm. and diligent in your work. Mm. Okay. Uh, for instance, if anyone might come to your place and build a cage for you, mm. and I do a good work, mm. It is you who is going to broadcast mm -hmm. my my work to other people. Yes. But if I don't do a good work, mm -hmm. there is no way I'm going to get that right. uh, recognition. Okay. So uh, I will advise mm. my brothers, my younger people, uh, brothers, and even an elderly person mm. who want to go into this, mm. should be trustworthy mm. in their dealing with fish farm okay because it's more expensive mm. so when somebody trusts a lot of money into your hands and you don't do the right thing for the person you spoil your markets yeah you okay spoil your market. all right so that is what Godfrey has to say when it comes to fish farming or even building the cages for you to uh, your clients or anybody who requires your service my name is Enyunam and this is how we draw the curtain on today's discussion focusing on pond or cages thank you for watching i'll see you again next week.